Alright guys, welcome to another video. So today we have the V50X from Acaso and I'm going to show you how to connect this camera to the app. I have not done it yet. I've had this camera. I've played around with it, but I've not connected it to the app yet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So stay tuned through the intro. <music> So I'm shooting this on my Acaso Brave 7LE because I have to have my phone. And if you're new to my channel, I shoot all of my regular videos using my phone. Uh, so this is the Acaso V50X. Now I'm probably going to say a different name at some point in this video uh, just because I have about five different models of the Acaso action cameras. But this is the V50X. It's kind of got a, uh, a rubbery, silicone-ish feel to it. It's very, very lightweight. Um, I really like that about it. It's not waterproof in and of itself, but it is a really solid camera. I really like it. i um, got some more testing to do with it, but today the purpose of this video is just to show you how to connect a new Acaso camera to the Acaso Go app on your phone. So, let's get started. So first we want to turn the camera on, so on the front we'll have a power mode. Or power button, so we'll turn that on, and we have the V50X. So we are powered on. Um, and let's get that prepped. So all you're going to do is you're going to hit that cog wheel. This is different on different cameras. Um, excuse me, you don't hit the cog wheel. This is different on the different action cameras. They they do different um, turn on Wi-Fi different ways. Um, so with the V50X, it's the same as the EK7000 series. Um, you do it with this button on the side. Now with the Brave 7LE, it does not have these two buttons on the side. So you have to turn it on a little bit different. So all you do is you hit that up button. Down button is going to give you playback of anything you have recorded or pictures um, like that. I accidentally hit it. But so what we want to do is we want to hit the top button and it's going to tell us that Wi-Fi is turning on. So we're going to set that down like so, so we can see it. Now, we want to go to our Wi-Fi in our phone, and we have the Acaso V50X. So we're going to touch that. It's going to ask us for the password. Um, I've not connected this to my phone yet, so it's going to ask us for the password. Once we do that one time, it's not going to ask us anymore. So our password is right here on the screen, 139 plus a zero. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and join. So there we go. So it is connecting to our, um, it's connected there. So now we can go to the Acaso Go app and go to the bottom in the very center. It says devices. And because we don't have this one on here yet, we've got the Pro, the EK7000, and the Brave 7 LE. You're going to have to go up here and hit the plus button. Now you're going to pick your camera. So you've got all these, they've got all these different models. Um, so what we're going to do is the V50X. And it's going to say, have we turned all this on? Yes. And we want live preview. So there's that. Now we can turn this function off. It does have a timestamp up here on the top. We can turn that off. Um, but here we have complete access to our camera. You can see everything my camera sees. You can see from my phone. We can go in and we can change and record and take pictures and change the settings and all that. In here it's going to tell us that we have a SD card in. Um, 25... Did I say 25 gig? I know I don't have a 25 gig card in there. 49% um, is our battery. Um, but we can change all our settings here. We can change over to the photo. And it tells us that the change is successful. Now, if you change a setting, here's the kicker. If you change a setting in the app, it is going to change it on your phone. So when you disconnect this, whatever setting you left here with, it's going to be on your camera, active on your camera. So. Hey, hey. Hey. Are you enjoying this video? If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, make sure you do that. So be, be um, 
understand that. So, but this is the app. This is how you do it. Um, anything that you have on your uh, camera, you can go here to the uh, playback. You can select and you can actually download um, any of that to your phone. They actually have, oh, this is pretty much it. So as long as you, if you want to learn your camera, you can do it in this because you have all the same settings. You can change it. You have everything like that. And then you just have to find where to do all that stuff in your camera. But the other cool thing about this app, Acaso Go, it automatically saves your camera. So like you can, you can see all my cameras here. So all I've got to do is connect Wi-Fi and hit connect and it's going to connect my camera. But you can go here and it's kind of like a social media. Um, you can you can upload your pictures. You can look at other people, like them, that kind of thing. You can even come in here and set up a free account with Acaso and you can go in and edit your videos uh, so if you want to upload, um, if you want to edit and cut together videos and, and upload them somewhere, then you can do that. A really cool app. I like it. Um, they're constantly pushing out upgrades and yes, really good, really good features on this app and things that you can do with your camera. I really use the app. I don't use it for editing. I really use the app for downloading um, my pictures and my videos to my phone so I don't have to worry about trying to get an SD card reader and all that kind of stuff. I can do it straight through the Wi-Fi connection and it works out really, really well. Now controlling your camera, I do not know what the range is. It's like if you had this set up on a tripod and you wanted to control it from your phone from, from a distance away, I really, I do not know what that, that distance is. I've never, never used it in that, in that way. So, but that is it. That is the Acaso Go app for the Acaso cameras. And this is the V50X. We're shooting on the Brave 7LE at 1080p and 30 frames per second. Um, that's usually my go-to setting. That's what I really like. That's what I shoot all my videos on my phone with. But, um, but yeah, so we've got some plenty more videos with this camera coming up. I haven't really tested it a whole lot, but I knew that I had not shown any of my Acasos connecting to the app. And I wanted to show that on a new one. So you guys would know so if you enjoyed this video found it helpful make sure you hit that thumbs up button make sure you hit subscribe and come back and i'll see you in another video i'll put the unboxing video and what i thought first impression of this at the end of this video i also put my tutorial on the brave 7le i'm planning on doing a really big comparison video of all my cameras and uh, that way you guys can make an educated decision as to which camera will best fit your needs so let's turn this bad boy off We're still trying to connect Wi-Fi. So I changed it in the uh, app so it's back over on the photo here. Uh, so you just touch that and click video and it changed back to video. So I'm going to do a, a full tutorial on this camera. Um, that is coming. Plenty more videos on this camera coming. I've only done this, I, guess, I think, is my second video. Um, but there you go. I will catch you guys in the next video. And until next time, stay bearded. Get outdoors. I promise we'll be outdoors next time. And God bless.